Welcome to our playlist of videos that will highlight different Harvest Host locations nationwide as we travel full time in our RV. Harvest Host is a membership program that provides access to different wineries, farms, breweries, museums, and other unique attractions that invite self-contained RVers to visit and stay overnight. We've been members since December of 2018, and in fact, our very first night in our RV was at a Harvest Host location. Ah, uh, yes. I do remember Horse Creek Winery in Sparks, Georgia. I remember it like it was yesterday. We picked up our RV in Florida. We spent the entire afternoon and evening driving in monsoon rain, and we seeked shelter, got some great wine, and some good southern food at this winery and it was a really fun first experience. Even had live music. What started out as a handful of wineries and farms on the west coast in 2010 has now grown to almost 2,000 locations not just nationwide but also in Canada and a little bit in Baja California. Wow with so many awesome locations in their network it's really important to pay attention to each one individually and check out their own rules and guidelines because each location does operate a little bit different if you want to learn more about harvest host check out our link below it will take you there and it will even get you 15 percent off of your first year's dues nice my name's aaron this is my wife chris who's irene and let's get into today's location Well, here we are at our first stop of the Harvest Hosts in the Tucson area, and this is El Pais. Yes. We are hooked up. We got water done, sewer done, and we're ready to check this place out. A little background on El Pais. It stands for the country, and it is a mid-century vintage-themed park and it is super, super cool. It's really close to downtown Tucson. And when you drive in here, you're amazed because they have like a motel strip of rooms that they are currently renovating so that each room has a different theme. And then they have all these old vintage trailers. There's a couple Airstreams in here that yep. we're Googling. We're right next to, right next to a Globetrotter. Globetrotter. And you can bring your own RV in. So it really does accommodate all sorts of needs. It's a mother-daughter duo, Tony and Jade. They took this park over three years ago, and prior to that, it was abandoned for 10 years. Wow. So I think it's really cool that they're taking this gem and they're buffering it back into a beauty. Polishing the rock. It's a lot of work. They're busting their butt, and people like us coming through Harvest Host is what's allowing them to really keep it going because it is an expensive renovation. Yeah, and so we just came off of a, a week of boondocking out in the Sonoran Desert, and so we are in desperate need of water and even just charging our batteries back up, and especially our black and gray tanks, they were completely full. Yeah. So $20 through Harvest Host is a phenomenal deal on its own. And just uh, having it this unique type of stop, like you don't always want to go to the same old RV park mm -mm. and see kind you of don't. the same old stuff. So this is just something to see in a in a different uh, kind of. Well, I don't. Even, it's more than just different. It's something you've probably never seen. It's super unique. And with the Harvest Host, they actually give out their first night free for dry camping, no hookups. But we're only staying one night, and we wanted to contribute twenty dollars. Part of being a good Harvest Host member is showing support through purchases. 
Usually with the wineries, you just buy a bottle or two of wine or however many you want and can afford to take with you. Um, obviously there's no wine here. So we just said, you know what, night number one, let's just go ahead and plug in. Throw her 20 bucks, it's well worth it. Absolutely. For the hookups, we were like, we were completely out of water. We were completely full on our tanks. And then we showed up and you even get to do your laundry for free. So there is so much value here. Yeah. And that's, you know, coming from us, it, living in this small van, like laundry, free laundry, that's something we're absolutely going to take advantage of. That's going to be the, the first thing we're going to do. Yeah. And they have a swimming pool. They have chickens here that I've heard read on the reviews that there's like fresh eggs in the morning if the chickens participate properly. So let's go check this place out. We're just dropping our laundry bags here so we can do a quick walkthrough. We did pause their music here because of YouTube copyright policies. So we're gonna keep it speedy so that we can put their music back on and not get in trouble. But in here is the first restroom. And it's pink. <laughs> it's super cute. It's entry. It's flamingo pink. Flamingo everywhere. The decorations in here is just, it sets it over the edge. Everywhere you look, there's something quirky. So here's the free washer dryer. There is complimentary ice, which is a true luxury for Ooh. us because we never have it. Um, this music they normally have playing. They have all these towels for the pool. And I think I'm going to use a fluffy towel for my shower just because I can. Moving in to a lounge area. This is a cinema room, actually. Swanky, swanky. So you can chill out in here. Take a seat. Take a seat. I love all the ashtrays. Just feel like you're hanging out. <laughs> Does that bring back memories of being a kid? Like I think so. Ashtrays in like bowling alleys and just about anywhere, everywhere. With yeah. An ashtray. Yeah. So this is a sweet cinema room. Let's keep on moving. There's record players. All these puzzles and books. Miss Pac-Man. Sweet. One more room over. This is more like a living room. Um, very cool in here. Look at just like, you just, the nostalgia is top notch. It's like carpet on the wall. Yeah. That was a thing back in the day, wasn't it? Carpet on the wall. It sure was. Wow. I love that lamp. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's really, it's actually really hard to pick out like things you like the most because everything together is just perfect and every piece is Look at this TV. Every piece is unique. Is this a TV? Yes, that is a TV. Just typewriter, all sorts of just fun things. Um, over here, massive Berkey. Giant Berkey. You have a little history of the mother-daughter duo, Tony and Jade, it tells all the stories. So I actually did take some pictures of those so that I can read up on them. The Beatles. Uh, so cool. You gotta love that. Classic. More Beatles over here. Just the posters and stuff like, I don't know, it leaves me speechless because I love it so much and I feel like if it really like wakes up your soul in a fun way. Now this is the community kitchen. All sorts of dishes that you can use. This is pretty cool looking. I don't even know how to operate this stuff. Yeah, how are we gonna operate a stove from the 50s? I don't know, I might need to call my grandma. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> These are in really good condition too. I know. You know? Yes. Huh. Love it. 
So the kitchen is beautiful. And then we have another bathroom. This one's blue. One for boys, one for girls. His and hers. Love it. So uh, Tony did tell me that prior to COVID, there was a food truck. They had food trucks that would come and sit here. So there was always food on premise, um, but COVID put a kibosh on that. So that's a bummer. Are you relaxed? Yep. Now all I need is somebody to cook dinner for me. We are going to take advantage of that grill out there. We are doing laundry, relaxing with some wine, grilling it up. So I'm gonna get some chicken and some vegetables put together so we can throw it on. Well, we could officially say that we have never stayed at an RV park like this before. Never. And it's going to stick out in our memory for quite some time. Yeah, it was really, really fun. A great experience. Sometimes you have a harvest host that's just mediocre and other times you have one that's truly a unique experience and this is truly unique. And I feel like harvest host is getting more and more and more locations. So uh, you're going to see more of these kind of unique one-off type of locations. Attractions. Yeah. And that's definitely uh, just an added bonus to the whole Harvest Host uh, program. Yeah, for sure. So on our little tour, we're doing three attractions and three wineries. So we're really excited because we really haven't done attractions. This is our first attraction. And maybe that's part of the reason on why it's so special for us. Yeah. But overall, just to recap, the vibe when you, when we first got in and did our walkthrough it was the greatest feeling like a part of me came alive like a, it really evoked that time that era that they're shooting for yeah i can only imagine what this place will feel like uh when there's maybe 20 30 40 people staying in either trailers or in the motel section uh because that common area i mean could you just imagine 20 people there last night yeah. having a drink, watching a movie or listening to music? What? That's a good point because the only thing it's missing right now is the energy of a lot of people. Yep. The building itself and all of the decor and the ambiance has tons of energy. You can feel that. And yeah, if you imagine it filled brim to brim with people, it will be truly something out of this world. Yeah, this is early 2021. So coming off of <clears throat> a rough year in 2020 for everybody, um, I can only imagine how difficult it could be to, to try to like start something like this and, and have it really take off as travel has not been as popular. Um, but RVs are getting more and more popular. And as soon as the motel rooms are done, this is just a great stopover if you're in the Tucson area for sure. Yeah, the amenities are great. Yes. 
So we are on to our next location, which is... The Desert Sanctuary. Mm, that sounds interesting. Yes. Sounds peaceful. It has a risque history, I hear. Oh. So we're going to learn about that. Stay tuned for that one. Well, we have to talk in between the songs. So yes, I am relaxed. <laughs> Since I don't remember when 